Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. There isn't very much to talk about that just came from the PlayStation 5 live stream. Right. But, you know, there was a few things such as the uh, Harry Potter game, Hogwarts something. I don't forgot. Spider-Man, which right here. Uh, and then probably one of my favorite, God of War Ragnarok. Real quick, I do just want to get into what we're looking at right here. What's interesting about this? Right here. Coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. I thought it was just on PlayStation 5. I genuinely thought this was a PlayStation 5 exclusive. When I watched the demo in the live stream, I'm like, hold on. There's no way this isn't going to come to PlayStation 4. Obviously, now that we know it is, we know we're not going to get a lot of the ray tracing or really what the game can take advantage of on the PlayStation 5, on the PlayStation 4, and I'm sure we all know why. This article, you know, is just talking about what the demo opens up to and all of that. But see, there's two different editions. You have, you know, your regular one, which, where is, where's the price for that? So the regular edition, which is standard, which will cost $49.99, right? And then it also says here, we're also excited today to reveal that Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales will be arriving on both PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Yes, that's right. We know that some of you may transition to PS5 at different times, which it was why it was important for us to release the latest title in Marvel Spider-Man universe on both consoles. Standard edition will be available digitally or physically at $49.99, which is a fantastic price, might I add. But what's even special is the Ultimate Edition for the PlayStation 5. The Marvel... Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition will launch both physically and digitally on the PlayStation Store for $69.99 on launch day, which, if you look at this, it includes Spider-Man Remastered. Just regular Marvel Spider-Man was an incredible looking game, but now it's going to see it remastered? Like, are you serious? Oh my god, I just, I can't right now. Like, this has just been incredible so far. The other thing that I'm excited for, Hogwarts Legacy. I... And I'm actually really excited for that. I'm a huge, huge, huge Harry Potter fan. We know it's coming 2021. And then, and then, God of War Ragnarok. Like, when I saw that and I heard Kratos' voice the first time, I'm like, is this what I think it is? And is that, is that Omega logo came up? Which I believe it is the Omega logo. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then you had the glyphs going around and it took me a minute but when I saw multiple of the same glyphs I knew then that it was indeed Ragnarok and this is also coming in 2021 and I'm just absolutely astonished by that like it's incredible and I'm wondering if that's going to come on PS4 as well only one way to find out and that's to wait till next year and when there's more news on that I will cover that and then, and then, we get to compare the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 against one another. So, we know everything about the Xbox Series S, X, and S, actually, and the PlayStation 5 in the digital edition. So, what we know, the price for Series X and the 5 are literally the same at uh, four ninety nine. Then you have the dimensions, which, you know, no really rhyme or reason for me to say it. The resolution... Pretty much similar storage size. The Series X has got it beat. Disk drive, the same. And then we move to the Series S and the Digital Edition. This is where things begin to change. You have two ninety nine, as we know, for the Series S, and now three ninety nine for the Digital Edition. The dimensions, as you can see here, you know, the width is to be announced for the Digital Edition, which we can assume it's going to be a little bit uh, smaller in width uh, to the regular one because it doesn't have the disk drive. The resolution. We know now, you know, the digital edition has it beat because it's basically the regular one just without disk drive resolution, like I said, and then you have storage size, which TBA in the digital edition and the disk drive, as we know, is none. This is all releasing. Just the PlayStation 5 is releasing November 12th and the rest of the world, November 19th. That's basically it. As always, if you've made it this far, hey, thank you for watching. I'll see you the following Thursday. What are you doing?